Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews. And we're going to be taking a look at this big boy. Man, this box is huge. This is the Joy Toy Warhammer Fishy License Ultramarines Parmaris Invader ATV. And this thing is massive. <laughs> this is a box that comes in, the newer style white and black box. You can see the artwork of the actual vehicle on the front. And believe it or not, these are 118 scale. These are recommended for adult collectors, especially no one younger than 15 years or younger. Um, yeah, there he is. There's the top of the box. There's the bottom of the box. There's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. And here is the back of the box. Uh, so this is 26 centimeters long, 19.5 centimeters wide. Looks to be highly detailed. Can't wait to see this thing in person. I just took off the plastic wrap. Did not open it, so this is an unboxing. Let's see what it looks like inside. And there it is in a clamshell, and I wanted to say my first impression is, wow, this thing is massive for 118 scale. Well, it looks like I'm going to be holding this camera for most part of this review because this thing is so big. It's hard to get a uh, good image of this thing with the camera stationary. And here it is. I'm telling you what, this thing is huge. So let's take a look at it here. So let's take a look at this side. Let's see here. Here on this side, we do have the Ultramarines type of signature there. There's actually some print right there. It's very, very small. What does that say? I can't see that. That's cool. That's very. We do have the tires. They feel like a hard rubber. We have the silverish rims we do have this piece that comes out here done in gunmetal to the blue and to the uh, cylinder here on the front they have that it's like a massive gear more or less like probably for suspension same mistakes here that we've seen here in the front holding on the wheel but we do have a rear fender we have some white line work throughout uh, the overall blue and there is some black wash there also pretty nice here on the other side, we pretty much have a lot of the same things going on. We do have the Archmarines insignia there. Um, some silver studs throughout the body. Nice little, some black vent looking pieces there. Looks very, very cool. Again, the black and white um, line work looks pretty nice. Looking at the front of this beast, man, there's a lot going on. We have the uh symbol here done in gold we have this awesome skull and cross looking design i'm not totally up on my uh all my different insignias and logos i'm still trying to work on it myself it's a massive ip so you guys have to bear bear with me with that at least um i have these guns on the front oh they they do move they articulate up kind of stiff we have these red lights, black housing. We do have these gunmetal, I guess what I call them, suspension. We have this raw here, done in black. Um, the guns kind of give you an idea of like some of the guns that come with the figures on a different scale, obviously, because we do have that hurting barrel here, the black body, and the gunmetal colors. We have the, almost like, I want to say the same size. It's like the drill, bell, drill barrel and then through the side there. I mean, those are pretty nice. And then there's a bar. It has this black piece here. That's really, very really cool. And then, like I said, you can elevate these guns individually where you want. Like that. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's awesome. For the roadie ATV, we do have the, okay, again, we have the very hard rubber tires. We have the dual exhaust here on the bottom. So coming in focused or not. This thing is so big. Um, we have a very large platform. Done like a great system. 
the show uh, for figure to stand there's plenty I mean if you put normal like G.I. Joe's Star Wars outside of Ultramarines you probably put two three figures there some controls there done in silver and red we have the handlebars here on the side it's very cool there's a grate it's like a black grate and actually you know you can it's actually holes there and then have the wash over it then you see the studs throughout they're silver really really nice pretty cool um all right so let's try to take a look at the top of this thing so there's the top of it it is huge so we have a lot of detailing there in the um we call it the cockpit where the driver sits look at all those different colors of the buttons switches on both sides very nice um do you have the uh steering there pretty cool it's kind of a better angle at it we have a green screen would have been nice if we had something on there give a little more detail but i'll take the green nonetheless that looks super awesome i think it's so big it casts its own shadow so you can't even see stuff very cool and george Roy didn't even cheap it out on the bottom i mean it isn't very nicely painted also some detailing there exhaust wires looks fantastic Got some silvers some blacks red very nice no overall there's not much of any kind of assembly besides just first of all taking a look at this massive mini gun jeez this thing's huge the side of it nice silver and weathering here on the uh the business end of this these are drilled out every barrel we have the darker color here for the bands the front of it has that print again silver studs they just have a hole through this uh, panel top of it red wire hose I guess this is the ammunition box here. Some silver throughout. This is our connector piece. This does uh, pivot back and forth. So you can raise the Gatling gun up and down or mini gun. Then we have the handles, which are articulated. 360 all the way around if you wanted to do that. Feels like they want to come right out though. But we're not going to do that. Most of the body in the, on this side is like in a black. And that just gets mounted right on the top of this thing. I'm not sure if I'm able to put that into the camera, but... And that went in there like it was perfectly tolerant. And there it is. And then that thing does rotate around the uh, turret. Wow. Well, that's nice. Nicely tolerant. Very cool. And here we have the antenna, and this is a massive antenna. I bet you can get reception from one planet to another. With this thing, holy moly, it goes right in there. I'm not going to push it way down because I probably put it back in a box. I know where I put it right now just to keep it safe until I'm ready to display it. That's how that looks. Very cool. This is amazing. So here you go with one of my intercessor figures. So you can see how well that scales with him. So here he is on the back. Um, one thing I'd watch out for is the handle grips on the minigun are quite wide. So I'm not going to force that on it at this particular time because I don't find that uncomfortable and I don't want to break these expensive collectibles. So keeping that idea, he can reach it with no effort. 
And this is how much space is in the back of this thing. Again, I'm sorry for shaking the camera, but it's got to hold it and move this thing around because it's so big. But you can see how he fits. And here's a front view with him. All right, he's pretty well covered if he's taking fire. He probably works through this hole here, if anything, because you can barely see him there. So that's good that he has cover. Let's see how well it looks inside the driver's seat. Okay, here he is inside the driver's seat, and I must say he fits a relative in life for being a big boy. Um, I think he's a little short on the arms to get all the way to the front unless I'm missing something there. I'm not totally sure, but he kind of, he, he's a little distance from there. I know he's got a little bent in his arms, but uh, he might be able to fit that with him finagling. But that's how he looks at least. Fix fits in there perfectly so very nice and hopefully he's protected from all that brass that's going to be falling on him and the uh, overall gases and the sound of that massive minigun this is really cool highly detailed I don't have any problems with it I mean the figures fit if I had to nitpick a little bit has to be the overall positioning. Like this should be flexible so we can pull it forward to bring it to the different various Warhammer Marines that you can stick in there. Uh, and then maybe a little thinner here on this for overall protection of the hands. I mean, that's my only to really beast about it. It was really nice. Um, I think there's some front suspension. Let's take a look at that real quick. So I think, I'm gonna be careful with this thing. Cause, oh yeah, you can do some massive, <laughs> incredible turns. Look at that. That's really cool. I don't think there's any other articulation. Nope. It feels a little fragile, not not like the San Marino motorcycles, but I'd be careful. Again, it's a dog collector. This is insane. The turns that they can, they, on a dime, they probably can make on this thing. Like almost kind of like a bobcat effect, and, and if you know what that is. Um, that's really cool. Then you can see when I, I do that, how it pulls out on this. Watch. Pulls on. I mean, these feel hollow. So watch when you're doing this. Right. That's definitely could be a, a breaking point there. So what you're gonna want to do on is be very grab a hold of this thing and uh, try to get down in there. Oh, I'm popping the wheel off. And bring it back carefully. That's why I say it's for adult collectibles, I guess, right? Be very careful. Could be just mine a little too tight, but uh, yeah, so that's definitely be careful with that uh, piece there. That may be an issue for cracking or breaking. And we don't want that to happen because I think this thing, on average, I've seen them as cheap as I think I pay like 75 bucks on sale, and I've seen them as much as $109. And that's what I've seen. It could be, obviously, it could be less or more, but as of this video, just picked this up because it was on sale. I have my eye on it. And I figured, you know, 75 bucks, you can't get, like, um, one of those Terminator figures from my cat, or a crow, for example, and uh, the Grey Knights for, like, less than 75 bucks. So I'm getting this massive vehicle for 75 bucks or a figure. Yeah, so that's what. I'm trying to say but I hope you guys like to look at this I do recommend this but be careful oh this is articulated too I wonder the purpose that is actually you can go all the way down where you can't it rolls off the ground maybe you say one of those things where it's a uh, placement like secure placement for when they're firing 
the minigun in a massive burst, I guess, maybe. One is stability bars, or I don't know what they want to call it for Warhammer. Um, uh, this is very cool. Uh, let me see if I can show you before we go a comparison with another 18, 118 scale vehicle. Uh, I'll use a Stinger 118 scale because that's what, kind of what I have right now out with me. And you can see the sheer size of this. Just give me one second. The Stinger's trying to roll away. So there you go. For the front. For the height of this thing see it's no it looks pretty good this is a massive armored ATV I think it'd be annihilating some Cobra stingers in my opinion but wow that is huge that looks menacing it's good to get there at least let me know what you guys think in the comments well I hope you guys liked this review if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe a lot of great stuff on the way a lot of great stuff already out there for you guys to view don't forget to check out all my videos. Comment down below. Like the video. Please consider subscribing. And as always, we'll see you in our next review.